name is Emily Lozano and I'm presenting this class for my physical geology. Um, I'm going to talk about granite batholiths and let's start. Well, my research overview, we're going to talk about the origin, the rock characteristics and the examples here in the United States. So, geology. Bad comes from the Greek and it refers to deep. And leak, it means rock. It also comes to the Greek. So the batholith is a deep rock, but they're they tend to be very huge. Batholith is a type of igneous rock. It's granite. They're they're composed of mostly granite. And granite, that we know, it has been always in historical geology, and is present in these days. It forms when magma rises into the Earth's crust, but it does not erupt to the surface. So it's when it cools beneath the surface, and it's always they tend to be near mountains because they have cracks. And after that, they cool down, and that's how a batholith forms. They can be very huge and measure under 40 square miles. How are they formed? Uh, magma starts to rise towards the surface, and then as magma loses the heat, it starts to cool down, and eventually it solidifies underground. And many they convert of many pollutants. A pollutant is a form of igneous rock, so it's a giant expanse of the rock. This is a battlefield in Sierra Nevada, and it's one of the most common ones. The photo is. But Alex Nemus and it's a very, we can see it. The rock characteristics, they're super easy. The rock characteristic is it's coarse grained granite because of the formation, because of the, of the magma that cools down. It's a massive multiple plutons, like we said, and they're huge. They're going to be areas larger than 40 square miles. And they tend to be forming near mountains um, because of the cracks of the mountains. That way, the magma um, falls and then it. I'm going to talk about the examples from the United States. Um, Batlitz, this is one in Shanker Rock, Texas. It's over 62 square miles and most of it is underground. The next one is the most common one in Sierra Nevada. It's from California. It's Texas, Nevada. And it's the most common battle here in the United States. The next one is Black Hills that is located in South Dakota. And it's very known because of Mount Rushmore. And it, the granite contains minerals such as quartz, feldspar, muscovite, and biotite. My conclusions in this topic is that they're easy, easy to identify because granite batteries are igneous rock that forms when magma cools down. They tend to be large and they can extend. They're deep and underground. And in the United States, we are lucky enough to found several places that are battleites. The most common one is the U.S. and Sierra Nevada. And obviously, the texture of this igneous rock is um, coarse grain because the formation, it is, for magma, it goes down. Thank you so very much. Have a very nice day.